Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of November. This is just a mini read. It's a bonus, not to be confused with the main um, the main monthly, which is already up on the channel. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. So we're going to start off with your overall energy and your crossing energy. What do we have here for Leo? We have the chariot in the upright position. Well, this is beautiful energy. It's cancer energy and it is all about fast movement forward. This is where we're jumping on that chariot and we're just moving quickly with all confidence towards success. This can also point to um, travel. Maybe some of you have some travel planned this month. Looks like it will go well, uh, even though <laughs> Mercury is retrograde for half the month. Um, you know, it looks like things will be moving smoothly for you in that area. Now, your crossing energy is the six of pentacles in the upright position. Well, this is very balanced uh, number. It's a six. It's also the yes uh, answer to any of you who may have a special question in your mind. It is yes. It is very uh, charitable energy as well. This can point to a yes from, um, say, for example, if you need to go and get a loan, it could be that um, the, the bank is saying yes, if you need a mortgage or maybe a vehicle because the the chariot can point to uh, vehicle purchases and things like that. So this would be uh, definitely a yes for that type of thing. So if you need to uh, rely on, on um, some type of loan or something like that, whether it be through a bank or even through a personal person, um, this can also represent generosity and spirit, such as... Um, someone doing favors for you and helping you out. Remember generosity can go both ways. There could be somebody in your life who also needs your assistance and perhaps um, they're able to help you in some way. You come into the month with the moon. Yeah, this is the moon. This is the, the golden tarot if, uh, if you're wondering what kind of cards these are. Beautiful cards, a little bit, little bit of a glare especially from the sun, but <laughs> this is the moon. <laughs> the moon in the upright position, Pisces energy, can point sometimes to a little bit of illusion, something going on that you're not quite sure what's happening here. It could be representing misunderstandings. It can be representing uh, things, uh, deception. Sometimes it can represent self-deception or deception coming from others. It, it's, um, it's, it's like something has a veil over it. So, um, well, you don't have the contract card here, the, the hierophant, but usually if it comes up with that, I say, make sure to look at the fine print. But for some, it simply represents some kind of misunderstanding. Maybe you have said something or done something that somebody is misunderstanding or someone else says or does something that you misunderstand. You're not quite sure what this is about. You have to use your intuition when the moon is around. So you must take, you know, take stock of your intuition and listen to that. Now, moving on to the middle of the month, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright position. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Queen of Wands is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position. You are on the right path with the moves that you want to make right now because that's what the Queen of Wands does. She takes action and she makes moves. Now, this could be for some of you in business. This could relate to passion, fun, excitement, adventure. For others of you, this could represent... Um, uh, travel. Maybe some of you need to need to or want to. We do see potential here already with the, the chariot for travel. Um, this could also represent somebody else external in your life, somebody not you. This could be a spouse. This could be a friend, a family member, or even somebody you're, you're meeting in the middle of the month. But the Queen of Wands is good. She helps to move things in the direction. She knows already what action needs to be taken, and she starts moving in that direction and can prod you to if you're hesitant in any way, or perhaps if you're you're not sure what's going on because of the moon energy rely on her uh, intuition at this point to move you forward 
Now, leaving the month of uh, November, you have Major Arcana Judgment in the upright position. Well, there may be a need to make a judgment call because sometimes the judgment will come up when we have a situation from the past returning. This is resurrection. So it could be for some of you, maybe an old job you used to do. It could be a, a group of people or a person, maybe even someone you dated once upon a time could be coming back on the scene again. And there's going to be a need to make a judgment call because the fact of the matter is we have free will when it comes to people coming back in our lives. We can say yes, we can say no, we can say thanks, but no thanks. We can use it as a closure situation and close the door for whatever reason it can also like I said represent a, a company you once worked for maybe you're finding out that they're hiring again or it could be that um, somebody is reaching out to you from said company and uh, and it is uh, letting you know that hey they're hiring over there you could come back to that again for others of you if you're more spiritually minded this could represent an aha moment where you finally see something from like a higher perspective and you're looking at things um, from a more maybe spiritual standpoint and you're looking at it and going hmm never really thought of it that way or looked at it that way it could be a light bulb moment you know where you're just like wow especially if you're using your intuition at the beginning of the month now in closing I will be pulling two cards from the Oracle deck so uh, to get some additional information for you here Leo, what do we have? I'm just turning these cards over and I'll show you them. We have communicate clearly and get more information. Interesting because the moon is here, right? So definitely I think this is really good advice, Leo, for the beginning of the month. Make sure that you are communicating clearly because the moon, remember what I said, it can represent misunderstanding. And if you're not communicating clearly, then it can cause a problem in your business, in your personal life, however. So make sure to not do that because <coughs> keep in mind, Mercury going retrograde, right, can mess with communications. So whether it's written or verbal or what have you, make sure that you're communicating clearly and get more information. Again, make sense with this moon card. So I think it's really sort of stressing the early part of the month for you here, Leo, where you need to really try and find out what's going on here and um, act accordingly. <laughs> So that's what I have for you, my dear Leos. I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous month of uh, November. And um, I also hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Liking, sharing, subscribing helps the channel. And remember, subscription is free. You just have to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.